okay welcome everyone so today we will going to discuss a very in interesting topic that is uh, uh, the hydrological model and the spatial model builder so how uh, in <coughs> in arcgis pro you can use this hydrological model tool so i will give you some idea on that okay so and we will also going to discuss uh, uh, about uh, the automatic model builder how can we will going to build okay and we will also going to see uh, uh, the manually how can you can create a very big model okay so that part also we will going to discuss uh, in this uh, particular exercise okay so let's start with that and we will uh, going to discuss more things uh, in between during that presentation okay so as you seen here this we are actually going to use one digital elevation model for some particular area this is the area of the sikkim where uh, i am going to use this particular <coughs> tool okay so this is the hydrological model if you see uh, this model we will get under the special analysis tool uh, obviously you required a special analysis tool license for that okay and then under the special analysis you can do any kind of um, raster bed analysis under this okay so we special analysis is very strong um, uh, you can say uh, a tool which we are actually used for extensively over so many of the satellite image and digital waste processing okay so whatever we are actually doing so we are actually using this particular special analysis tool okay obviously yeah image analysis is also there with that special analysis also we are actually used extensively for that okay so now you just see here <coughs> here uh, under the hydrology okay so we have a various process to uh, apply okay so i'm just going to uh, first i'm going to show you at least four steps okay to to accumulate to understand the accumulation zone where the all the uh, water bodies is actually coming and accumulate okay so that part i have to up to that i'm going to show you okay so for for doing this the first steps we, uh, which we are actually going to do over uh, any kind of images that is the field corrections so you see here field corrections where it is actually doing so field corrections suppose uh, various dams they have some errors inside their uh, pixel value okay so that it is actually correcting averaging that is taking the value from the surrounding and it is filling that part okay so that is actually how field is actually working so before hydrological model you have to start so we have to do the field corrections over uh, the your digital elevation data okay so i am going to give uh, uh, suppose i am going to give an input of this particular uh, dam here okay so let's see okay let's see the output okay first okay so let's see the output so just run it so you will not found much change over here okay but yes if there is uh, any kind of uh, error inside this particular dam then definitely it will going to correct so this is a very important part of uh, digital inside logical model whenever we are going to start you should go for the field corrections okay now after field corrections you just see here this is a very important input for your flow directions which you are going to create okay so now uh, the flow, flow directions whatever i just uh, want to run so flow direction is every eight directions how the flow is actually going on okay so that we are going to calculate okay so let's see so you have the flow directions here okay so i just selecting this uh, feel corrected image as a input there okay so always remember you have to give the feel corrected image for the flow direction calculation okay so uh, let's run it and uh, see the output first um, so after this we can go for uh, the further steps that is the accumulations okay so we will going to see that how we're going to run it okay so uh, and in between if you want to calculate the basin so you can go and calculate the basin also for some particular area okay so so you can go for that level but before showing that because here this is uh, this demo i am just trying to explain you about the the uh, automated special model builder and the special model builder by manual okay so how we are going to create it okay so that's i'm just going to uh, explain it actually hard logical uh, explanations is uh, not focused for this particular demo but anyway uh, i'm just telling you because uh, you will get an understanding about that okay uh, uh, if you want i can create one more uh, demo about the hydrological model the full analysis of the drainage extraction part e even if you i will going to create a uh, model builder a full model builder 
to extract the drainage pattern according to a stream order so that i will going to show you in this particular day okay so let's see uh, after this flow directions what i want suppose i want to calculate the accumulations means where my full water will come and accumulate it okay so that i want to see okay so uh, how we're going to use it so see here this is your uh, accumulation tool so let's uh, accumulation tool you have to give input your uh, flow direction uh, output okay so let's give in that and now you can run this tool and it, after running this tool you will get uh, uh, the output where you will see a major uh, river where where this total uh, valley where water is actually coming and it is going to store okay so that we will going to see. it is taking few minutes time but uh, you will see the output so there is a various uh, way to enhancing your output so if you want okay so that also we can able to see the process how we will going to do that that is a kind of stretching techniques which you will which you will going to apply over your uh, accumulation area so get a more better details on that okay so we will going to see that so see here this is the major output so if you found see this is the major river where where the total uh, outflow is actually coming and storing okay so now uh, let's uh, see see this is the only few rivers you are able to see suppose you want to focus more so or what you do you can go to this uh, stretching techniques okay so you can apply the suppose the histogrammic visualizations over here so let's see how this results is coming see here okay so you will get uh, much more better details over it okay so now uh, i can go for the further to extract all this drainage pattern okay so i can extract it okay but i am not going to show you that so what i am going to show you that is very interesting like whatever step i did okay so that steps i can able to convert it as a model builder if i have no experience to create a model also okay so that also you can able to do so how we'll going to do that okay so let's see how to create it okay so you just see here here you have a options called the history so if you go in a history and you see uh, all the steps whatever i did so that is coming as a row so what you need to do that is you just click over all these three by pressing the control okay and then simply right click on this and there is a simple tool it's called add to model that's all that's all so see here it is it is just created your total model within a second okay so is it interesting that whatever you are actually can see it is taking a day automatically after that fill correction so after fill corrections you will get the flow direction informations then flow direction informations you can go for the flow accumulations and then you just see accumulated results means where the accumulations is actually coming okay so the same thing suppose if you want to see this is actually uh, the automation tools suppose uh, uh, some of your colleague he has very good in a hydrological tool so he can run it or she can run it and uh, some person who don't have any idea so he can convert a model like this but if you how uh, if you are want to create a model from the scratch then how can you will going to do it so i will show you that okay so this you understand about how to create automated model builder and one more things i will just add it to you this to you to you like um, suppose you want to convert it in a python code so many people are actually doing that okay so uh, you can convert uh, these in a python code also okay so many options will be there you just see here export to the python file okay so if you so this is the saving of that okay and you can uh, go to send to the python window and you just see you will get the total code of that okay and if you want to give that code to someone then you can go for the exporting okay so you can go for the export the python file you can save it it's in save in archive format and you can use this code see some of your program uh, friends who is working in programming so he can use in that also and most beautiful thing is whatever the model builder tools you are going to create within a second you can create a converting the uh, python code like using this particular tools so this is a very easy way to understand and you can uh, do how to create a model using a python code okay so that you can do it now uh, i will show you one more thing so this is the automation process okay so i'm just closing it i'm not saving it anything okay so you just see here uh, under this toolbox okay so demo okay so these two models is already there 
okay so if i want i can remove uh, this two model permanently okay why because i want to show you a new model how we're going to create so if you want to create a new model then just just right click on this go to the new okay and click click a model and you just see a new model window will come up and if you want to give this particular model okay as a name then just simply right click on this and go to the properties and you can give a model suppose uh, you can give a name hydrological hydrological model okay hydrological um, to hydrological to model suppose underscore ah, it's a very big name so we can give name hydrology model it is also taking large so hydro you can give a name okay i give the model name as hydro okay so let's click on okay so once you click on okay they see this is still not reflecting why because i didn't save this model okay so once you click this model as a save then we see it is going to reflect here how this model is actually created so now your model is created and you want to uh, create a hydrological model to extract the drainage pattern also so i'm going to show you how nicely you can create it okay so see here i'm going to take drag and drop my dam directly from this okay so this is the how i'm dragging and dropping my dam the next important thing which i'm going to do that is how i can uh, go for the steps which you are already seen that is i am going to run the direction flow directions okay so i will go there in a geo processing tools okay so you can go in list and you can run the first steps is the field corrections you just see here this is a field corrections so manually if you want to add so that is automation so that's why model is already created and this is manually you are going to create okay so input raster so this is your input raster after field corrections it is coming now after field corrections if you want to go for <coughs> the further process like uh, if you see here uh, if i want to go for the flow direction okay so i am simply take this direction to okay so this is a output drop raster so i am just taking it there and i am giving input of this flow direction raster as a input raster okay so now what i want i want to run the next steps the flow accumulations okay so simply drag and drop this flow accumulation we see up to this that time it is done automatically because i just go for the manual process uh, sorry automated process okay flow direction raster and see accumulation is also coming so what are the four steps i i just showed you by manual that i showed you as a automations and this is the in manual process if you are creating a special model builder then how so first manual is a manual steps one by one by steps you are using hydrological tool by using that so that you have to apply for every dem whenever you are going to create the hydrological model but this model which is helping you like once i save this model okay so whenever you want okay so you just need to give uh, input your dem so for some other area okay and you will get direct output so that is the advantage you will get in, in this okay in model builder so now you just see here i can if i want i can make this model much more bigger like as i told you i can extract this information using the stream order wise so for that i will going to put a conditional uh, tool so in the conditional tool i can apply it suppose uh, my the input the accumulation conditional raster and if my flow directions will be the true raster value then it will go for the next process in the model but if it is coming as a false raster value so then it will stop the model will stop there okay so that is the way how we are connecting it and after this i can go for the stream modeling okay so so stream modeler i am just going to take the stream modeler tool from here directly okay and i can take this stream modeler output from this as a stream raster and i also give need to give the input of the flow direction so i am just simply click on the flow direction okay so so up to this you can extract it all the streams in a order okay and that is in raster file so what you need to do you have to convert the raster to polyline 
so you can search uh, here also or else you can search simply type it here raster to polyline okay you just see here i type raster to poly so it is came to raster to polyline so simply drag this tool and drop it here so see here i can drag and drop this tool so this i will connect with this so then this is my output this is my final output okay and if you see here if i want i can extract the basin in the same model also okay i can extract the basin for the same model also how we're going to extract see suppose this basin tool i'm just simply drag and drop it here and this basin the major input is your flow direction okay so simply drag and input the flow direction raster okay so this is the flow direction output the major output and then i will drag this flow direction output to this okay so so as you see here that is the basin we are converting from the flow direction input okay and it will be converting as a raster so basin also coming as a raster so again we have to do the same process like we have to convert this raster this basin is coming as a polygon so we have to convert it raster to polygon okay so you can go here and search this raster to polygon and drag and drop it here okay so now you can connect this output as an input raster so see here the total hydrological model we are actually built up okay so and it is just a click and it will create so many outputs okay so it will create outputs of the field flow directions accumulations conditional rasters and then it will come as a output stream rasters and the final output will be the drainage pattern extracted with the stream motors so that is the wonderful thing here okay similarly we will get the basins okay and that basin also it will convert it as a polygon okay so suppose if you reflect it over as a result okay so you can make it add to display options from here and this also you can make it add to display options from here so once you validate and run this model then you can able to see the output here so now how you will going to do the validations like if whatever the model you created it is right or wrong how will going to understand so this is the process of validation so if you click on this so if there is no error message is coming that means your model is perfect okay so you can run the model okay so if you want i can show you the uh, output also but this much is also fine to understand how we are actually building up this particular model builder okay so i hope you like this uh, video okay but this is the wonderful thing of the model builder so once you click on this run so one by one by one this all the process will be run and after this run then you will get your output that is a wonderful thing so thank you let's see okay okay so thank you okay thank you everyone so we will going to close the session for today okay so thank you uh, i hope you like this video okay so please uh, stay with my channel thank you thank you very much